Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow is down 460. Nasdaq's up 165. S&Ps are up 58. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Cakes. That as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, you can check out Teddy every trading day at forex-trading-unlocked.com. That's forex dash trading dash unlock.com and you know we were just talking about mortgages and you can see how these um, companies work you know the bottom line is that they had to hear us talking about mortgages because as soon as we pulled up Teddy <laughs> at Forex dash trading dash unlock guess what rocket mortgage quick and loans they're quick and loans. There we go. they're listening to us Teddy they got, they yeah, got, big they, data is everywhere big right data, I I'm said, man, they're, they're spending money right now they're calling me they're doing everything yeah. we, we were just going through mortgages Teddy and we yeah. pulled up there I says look at that man I said they, you know the rates are low enough they're calling me to refinance <laughs> they know the math we went through it we pull up Forex trading unlocked and uh, boom there you go boom that makes sense so hey. we got action no doubt right we certainly do. We certainly do. You know, it's kind of funny. We had a lot of um, swing trading things and a lot of news over the past couple of weeks that we've talked about. And I think today is the first time we're not going to be really talking about central banks or anything like that, which is kind of nice. Um, what's very interesting is I think that we're coming into a period where it's showing how the U.S. dollar is a very reluctant bull. Yeah. That, um, it's there's nothing that we're doing in the U.S. that's really making the dollar strong. It's just that the whole world is doing everything to make themselves weaker against us. It's just like this morning, right when we started the program, that euro took a dive, man. Uh, you know, the, the dollar index had some volume yesterday, so it's like, okay, someone was buying it. But that euro just took a dive. I was saying to Tommy, yeah. is that going to be, is Brexit on the, you know, I mean, what is that about? Do you know what I mean? This, that and was a dollar quick trading move. higher, too. They're both, you know, everything, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Quick. Well, the economic numbers have been pretty bad that have been coming out of Germany and France and stuff like that. So they're playing with the with the definitely uh, economic fundamentals right now in the okay. EU. Um, okay. And then Brexit, we know that obviously a hard Brexit is the best thing we can hope for, if anything, on October 31st. And to be quite honest with you, I don't think it's going to happen. And the and the trend, and that's the one thing I think what's giving the dollar index is the biggest lift right now is that the pound and a lot of other currencies actually are eroding against the dollar. But you look at the yen, Tommy. I know you love the yen. Yes. That that market right now, we know that the interest rate variable is is pretty much stable with that. You know. So um, as far as that's concerned, that's the only currency I think that's going to remain a bull against the dollar right now for. Uh, quite some time. I don't think it's going to change either, which is kind of ironic, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's you know trying to trying to figure out the. I mean, the yen looks to me like it really is going to try to go after ninety nine. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's that banging in. You know, that flash crash down there. You know, it's like okay, it was that one hundred four eighty seven was hanging out there forever. Well, guess what? We hit one hundred five five. So it's like okay, sure. that that baby evidently is game once again. Um, I think any rally in the yen is one you have to sell right now. Okay. Any U.S. dollar yen, you have to sell the rallies right now, for yeah. sure. So, and, and I think it's going to be the one that's going to take the lead going into the rest of the year, because we already know that with the EU, I mean, look at with how the euro has been trading for the past six months. It can't, even though it's looking a little bearish today, it can't seem to catch a break or a rally no matter what, you know. So the pound's the one that's in the free fall that's not going to end and i think actually we might see the pound continue to trade lower up a year from now it could keep this uh trying going sure. boy when you take a look I, you know i get a, a long term well to 2016 with the euro up here man they've really lost some big value man i mean you know it, look at that it, i just i just put it back uh 10 years uh 10, mm -hmm. right and, you know if you if you Owning those currencies, you go from 150 you have less to 110. Wealth. 150 yeah, to 110. Right. It's right. a real deal. That's sure. a big. That's a big number, man. Yeah. And well, right. I know we don't trade the Argentina peso, but how about that yesterday? Oh my God. Yeah. That. That's <laughs> that's crazy, man. Yeah. Well, they have all kinds of other issues as it is, sure. you know. Right. So that's where, and that's where, like, you look at the major currency crosses. I trade all mostly predominantly only major currency crosses. Sure. When you start to get into those exotics, that's when you start to see some crazy things that happen when you have issues like what's going on right now. Yeah. No. 
I don't know what someone in that country, what do you put your money into? Like, you, not, 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 not the paper, that's for sure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Not the paper. Well, over there, you know what's going on? They're going into cryptocurrencies. Which, yeah. Tom, we bring that up. That, that, that totally yeah. makes sense. That, you know what's interesting about that? That's the first time that, even in my own head, that it totally made sense that cryptocurrencies, because I says, hey, the, the probability seems much less that the crypto is going to lose value versus what those, yeah. those pesos did. Crypto, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. You got better odds with Litecoin than you do with, the, with, the pair, with their own peso. Seriously. That's, that's yeah. amazing. That really is amazing. Yeah. And so what you know what's going to be interesting, guys, I think that people need to pay attention to um, is that the uh, the South Koreans with the Japanese right now, okay. um, they're starting to stir there. And I think that if this thing doesn't start to get kind of mediated within the next like couple weeks, um, that's going to become an issue going into the fourth quarter. And that could start to cause a lot of shakeups in uh, Asia as well. Now, tell me what you're talking about then. Are we talking about a currency war or, or a Well, it's a trade war and a Currency okay. war against uh, South Korea and uh, Japan, so they're oh, not necessarily friendly to begin with. Okay. And it seems like um, I was actually just talking earlier this morning with somebody. I'm like, I think we need to take all the world's leaders and send them all back to kindergarten for one year. Yeah. Nothing happens for one year because nothing happens anyhow right now. And then see if they can come to the table next year. You know, great, I great mean, idea, man. It, it's it's seriously, and that's what's going on with Japan and. Uh, South Korea, and now you also have the Chinese numbers that are weakening and blah, 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 while you have other markets that are thriving, the last thing they need is an intra-trade uh, intra zone, trade zone tariff war going on, you know, so that could really start to change, and that'll affect ours, our, tr our trade as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, there's huge amounts of factories in South Korea. I mean, it's, you sure. know, before sure. China came around, South Korea was the number one, you know, I mean, remember it used to be Japan, then it was South Korea? And then, right. of course, China opened up, and you know, China took not all of it, but the, the bulk of it. But yeah, there's no, there's no doubt there. That's pretty intense, man. Yeah, it's a powder keg brewing. Yeah, I well, you know what? And I've said this many times. You know, like you start a fight, and it seems that the longer the fight goes on, you forget what the beginning of the fight's even about. And now there's lots of powder. Right. Kegs. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And, yeah. and it's and it's like, okay, now how do you get out of it? You know what I mean? It's like, and, and of course, everyone, like when you're getting beaten up, everyone wants to stop. Oh, I hope someone breaks up this fight, man. Do you know every, what I mean? Everyone wants to save face, <laughs> yeah, too, right? I know. Yeah, but you know, a, if, you're getting, oh, if you're getting a beat, if two of you getting a beat, Listen it's like, oh, you. please, someone break this fight up, man. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, who's going to I don't break? think anyone's going to step in to mediate this no. fight. Yeah, it's, right. It's, exactly. Different Not animal. Yeah, different yeah. animal. So, and, um, um, you know this uh, this S and P uh, this thing is getting accelerated down, man. We get 60 uh, points right now on the way down. So. All the markets down at least two percent, and it is not even 11 a.m. Yeah, and you know you're in a you're in a unique spot, Teddy, because what I've seen in markets in general, when mm -hmm. markets really go south, it's normally normally a currency move that really shocks markets. So it's going to be intriguing here to like, okay, what is hanging out here? Do you know what I mean? Is it, sure. Yeah, what's going to happen when the currencies actually start to spark a real move? Yeah, right. Oh my God. Listen, folks, every trading day, you can check them out at forex-trading-unlock.com. It's forex-trading-unlock.com. Teddy, you have a great week, a safe week, and of course, we look forward to speaking to next Wednesday. Thanks, gentlemen. You guys have a good one. Thank you. you too, Teddy. Thanks, man. Stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow's down 490. Nasdaq's up 171. S&P's are down 61.